All right, so hey guys, what kind of a function is gonna give you a rectangular shape? Good, constant. So hey guys, let's make up a constant function. What do you want this to be? Let's make something up. So I want you to, I want you to make, okay, four is the first number I thought. F of X equals four. There we go. All right, and then um, I saw someone else put three, so we'll go to three. So this is our X value three. So we're gonna find this area two ways. We're gonna do geometry and we're gonna do calculus. To do this area using geometry, it would be base times height. That would just be three times four, which is 12. To do calculus, it would be integral from where to where. What are our boundaries? Good, zero to three, our function is just four dx. What is the antiderivative of four? Good, four x such that zero to three, upper boundary minus lower boundary gives you 12. Oh my gosh, we got the same answer doing geometry and doing calculus. That is all I wanted you guys to do. Take a picture of it and put it on the slide. All right, what kind of a function is gonna give you a triangle? Looking for a word here. Good, linear. So let's make up a linear function. What do you guys want it to be? Let's pick little numbers so it'll be small. F of X equals one. Okay, good, I saw someone put two X. Let's do two X. So our slope is two, up two over one. All right, and what do you want the boundaries to be? Let's make this up. No, don't make it go too far because my graph only, only goes but so far. Um, what do you want to go into? Zero to four. All right, can you do three quickly? My graph only goes to three. If I go further, like, can you do three? Sorry, I know I asked you guys to pick, but. I would have, to, it's gonna go off of the graph if I do four. Let's do three. I'm sorry. I know it sounded like I was giving you a choice and then I kind of took it away, I apologize. But my, my graph only went to three. All right, so if we're gonna do geometry, this will be one half base times height. The base is three, the height is six. That is gonna give us nine. All right, now let's do this using calculus. It's gonna be integral zero to three of this function. What is the antiderivative of 2x? Good, it is x squared. Such that zero to three, and if you do upper boundary minus lower boundary, oh my gosh, you get the same answer. I wanted you guys to make this connection. All right, now what kind of function is gonna give us a trapezoid? Good, it's linear, but you have to move it up. So linear plus a constant. So let's make up one like that. Let's do, um, let's do X plus, what do you want it to be? Give me another, how much do you wanna move this up? X plus what? Four. All right. This is difficult without a grid. All right, and let's go from zero to two. So this is our shape. So using geometry, it's gonna be one half times the height, which it's on its side. So the height is two. And then we're gonna add the bases together. So this base is four, and then this base is six. So that gives us 10. Now, if we do this using calculus, what are our boundaries? Good, 
Good, zero to two, this is our function. What is the antiderivative of this? Hey guys, antiderivative of x plus four. There it is, one half x squared plus four x. We go from zero to two. You guys are making me kind of nervous. All right, upper boundary minus lower boundary. So if you plug in two, two squared is four, half of that is two. Four times two is eight. Lower boundary is just gonna give you zero and that comes out to be 10. So same both ways. 